Our brand was at the enthusiast level, and we wanted to carry that through. How do we keep? How do we differentiate a system in the marketplace of boutique high performance systems? You know, you had Voodoo, who's now subsumed into HP. You had Alienware, who really is just kind of mainstream stuff now, and and doesn't appeal to um, everybody necessarily. And so there's no wow. cables going out the back. And the way we did that is we turned the chassis internally 90 degrees so that all the cables are running out the back. And if you look under the, in the little sand here, you can see kind of what, how we did that. So we have a little uh, channel guide there, and all the cables are coming out the bottom. Uh, if you tilt it forward, that easily sl slides off. So if somebody needed to change a network cable okay. or a monitor cable, you could do that. Um, and then, obviously, um, you know, keeping with the aesthetic, we've got slot loaders on the front, so that way it just grabs it, pulls it in without any kind of drawers coming in. Um, and the, the, the cherry on top of it for us is our own custom proprietary LCD. software LCD yeah, no, no, no. panel. It's, uh, it's a 200 megahertz uh, ARM processor with a motherboard, so it's its own PC. <laughs> it has power to it 100% of the time. Even when Phobos is off, the LCD is powered on, so you can, come, you can come up to Phobos and wake it up from a sleep state and tell it to turn Phobos on and keep the machine on. So it doesn't have, the system does not have to be on for the LCD. So the fit and finish isn't exactly 100% yet, but we're going to be, you know, uh, finishing that up in the next couple of weeks. Same thing with the LCD. We have uh, our, our software programmers working feverishly. So, um, and as we go through it, just to give props, Graham Brown is uh, sitting on the couch over there. He's our European marketing manager. He does all our character and design, all our websites. He's my rock star. Mm -hmm. And he also designed this interface, and so he's been working with the software engineer. So, and we designed it all in-house. None of this is uh, uh, store-bought. You can't get this anywhere. Um, and so what we decided was let's, let's come up with a happy medium between you know, we're, we're selling this to the kind of graduated gamer, the guys who aren't do-it-yourselves, but they still are enthusiasts. Like, I am, I'm a hardcore gamer, I love console, but I also like PC, but I couldn't really build my whole system, and so there's a certain level of specs I, I care about and stuff, and then there's a whole geek, another geek level. So we wanted to try to find a happy medium of that. And so, um, you know, big, nice clock there. We have a media uh, player display, so if you're playing iTunes or your media center, our media player, it'll show this screen and it'll show you current uh, data that's going on there. You can act, interact with it. Or if you had a remote uh, or you were using Windows Media Center or have a, we have a TV tuner option, mm -hmm. so you could have it be your DVR as well. On the performance control, again, with the idea that these people don't want to do everything themselves um, but still want all the performance, we have performance control screen where you can overclock your graphics cards with one touch of a button. So people who don't know how to go in and overclock, all you have to do is hit max and it'll actually kick all the, gra it'll tell the BIOS, it'll change the BIOS to just overclock the graphics cards, increase the review. And again, this isn't 100% finished, so there's a little tweak, so forgive us for that. Um, we have our graphics cards with the uh, primary, secondary, up to three graphics cards with all the uh, core shader and memory clocks in real time. So if you do overclock, you'll see those clocks change as you overclock them. Uh, we have CPU, network, memory, and storage quick overview. So at a glance, you can see your overall system. And that's going to be a combination of all the hard drives in there. If you drill down into the storage view, uh, it's still a little wonky right now, we're cleaning that up, but it'll basically go out and uh, ping all your hard drives and display them up here, and uh, even thumb drives and everything, and it'll add extra pages if you keep adding external hard drives and things like that. But you can drill down in into, uh, and again, this will be a pie chart actually instead of a bar graph, but uh, it'll show you your used and free memory, and it'll also show your smart status to show the state and the health of your hard drive. And if it's bad, it'll actually have a little exclamation point up here that'll warn you that you should replace your hard drive or call us and we'll come out and replace it for you. So hopefully we'll save people's data. And then it also has disk, uh, defragmentation. So if it tells you if you need to defrag your hard drive, if you do, a little button will appear here, defrag now, and you'll be able to press that and it'll actually defrag that specific hard drive. So, uh, you know, but physical and virtual memory histograms shows you all your speeds and timings. And then uh, your network is actually going to show you all your connected networks, uh, whether they're connected or not. And so it'll display uh, your IP address, your MAC address, the speed, your up and download speeds. And again, this needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it'll show you all, the, all your network connections. 
And I think I showed you all these, and then your CPU is pulling real thread data from all co eight cores on the uh, i7 right now. And um, so in addition to that, uh, we think, you know, having that, we've got also this will pop up, you press down and this will pop up. You also have dedicated hard uh, reset and, and uh, on off buttons, a multi-card reader, SATA drive, uh, two USBs, a firewire and a headset uh, connectors if you need them. And then obviously an iPod slash iPhone dock just so it's all kind of a wireless thing.